respondió Jason. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Oh. Hi, I'm sorry, my apologies for the delay. Actually, there was a five minutes delay, right? Porque um, hubo ahí un, una tardanza de cinco minutos. That's why I got here uh, those five minutes, you know, delayed. But thank you very much for joining. Uh, good evening. Hello. Uh, my name is Marcelo Ortiz and I'm going to be your uh, teacher for this session, okay? So um, I can see some of you are already here. I see um, Ada, uh, Blanca, Lester, Janira, Luis, Rene, Giselle, Eric, JB, Mariana, Carlos, and Brian. So welcome, you know de parte de Inglés Corporativa, pues les damos la más cordial bienvenida a, en este caso, Intermedio 1, ¿verdad? So, thank you for joining. Gracias por, por estar acá. So, I understand that you already know how it works, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos, eh, estamos familiarizados con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y hoy vamos a estar trabajando, pues, un poquito con cada uno de los, de los temas que están relacionados con la plataforma. Solo déjenme acá cerrar la sección anterior the PowerPoint and I'm going to move to the next one. But I would like to listen a little bit about you. Me gustaría saber un poquitín de ustedes, right? So in my case, my name is Marcel Ortiz and um, I'm a teacher. I'm 34 years old and um, well, I have been a teacher like for probably seven years and uh, I love reading. I love crafting. I love cooking, right? Watching TV. Well, I don't watch TV actually. I watch, um, you know, videos on YouTube or Netflix, right? <laughs> ya no, ya, bueno, ni siquiera, es como que todo lo hacemos a través de la computadora o el teléfono, right? So that's a little bit about me, pero quisiera escuchar un poquito acerca de ustedes. So let's go ahead and start. Luis, can you go ahead and provide us information about you? Um, okay, very good. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Luis Morales. Uh, I am in chemical engineering. Oh. Um, I like me play chess, uh, uh, soccer, and and write uh, online. Okay, thank you very much. Luis, and what do you write about? You said that you love writing, so what do you write about? Do you write poems? Do you write uh, stories? What do you write about? Uh, I like me write the science. About science, okay. Like articles science. About, science. about science. Oh, okay. Very good, thank you very much. How old are you, Luis? How old are uh, you? 25 years. 25 so. years old. Very good, and, and, and I'm glad to hear that you're uh, studying that major. Thank you very much. So let's listen to you, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. What can you tell uh, us about you? I'm fine. Hey. Hi, can you share with the class a little bit about you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. So I'm, I'm Brian. Eduardo Ventura, I'm 27 years old. Um, my profession is accountant. I decided to participate in this course because I want to improve my little knowledge of English to have the opportunity to apply to different jobs that requires a full bilingual, full bilingual uh, skills. And I appreciate the effort for the English Corporativo to give us the opportunity to to study and become very professionals. Well, um, I live with my mom and my sister, and I have a, a dog too. I like to self-learning and listen music, cooking and play video games. Mm, and well, I'm 
I hope the best for this course um, for everyone too. Okay, thank you very much, Brian. I'm glad to hear that you like to learn things by yourself, right? So that's gonna be awesome because, um, you know, that's uh, something that um, I don't want to say is a requirement. No quiero decir que es un requisito, pero es importante, right, that you like that you like to learn things by yourself because of the platform, porque la plataforma es bastante autodidacta, right? So you have to go ahead and um, do the exercises by yourself and then you bring your questions to the class, right? So thank you very much. Muchas gracias, Brian, thank you. Um, let me listen to Blanca. Blanca, what can you tell us about you? Hi, Blanca. Blanca, can you unmute? Can you activate your microphone? Because we cannot hear you, no le escuchamos. Active su micrófono, por favor. Ahí está, Blanca, uh, thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Blanca Araceli Lemus de Sandoval. I live, I live uh, Dona Catepeque, San Salvador. Um, I live with my family. Um, I had 52 years old. I am, I am 52. I am. I am. I am 52 years old. Mm -hmm. um, is a, um, is a teacher. You're a teacher. Oh, what do you teach? And <laughs> the los pequeñitos primaria. Oh, wonderful! That's okay. good. Okay. Okay. Um. Thank you. Thank oh, you for you're welcome. Uh, nice to meet you, Blanca. Thank you very much. Okay, so probably you, um, I guess that you have a lot of patience, right? Because you need a lot of patience with kiddos, right? So thank you. So what about you, Ada? What about you, Ada? What can you share with the class about you? Um, Ada, can you, okay, ahí está, ya está activado. Good night, everyone. Good evening, I'm, good evening. Uh, good evening. I'm Ada. I'm 25 years old. I live in Soyapango. I like cook. You like cooking? I like to learn more English. Mm. <laughs> Only that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, no problem. So you said that you love cooking, that you like cooking. Um, what's your specialty? What is your specialidad? Que es lo que prepara así como super, super, hiper, mega delicious. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Okay, very good. So you're going to share the recipe with me. Okay, me pasa la receta because actually I love cooking too and I love cooking <laughs> spaghetti. So thank you, Ara. Nice meeting you. Um, what about, what about, let's see, Lester. What about Lester? Can you go ahead and share with the class a little bit about you? Uh, yes. Um, first, uh, nice to meet you to everyone. Nice. Uh, my name is Lester Cruz. I am 27 years old and I'm here to learn more about English. And thank you for the opportunity. And, and that's, <laughs> that's what I like to say. Okay, thank you very much, Lester. And of course, actually, um, it's nice to have this um, type of opportunities, right? So where we can uh, go ahead and uh, improve and learn new things and probably to polish, right? What we already know un poquito de lo que ya sabemos, and that's gonna be great because uh, all what you have to do is to complete the exercises in the platform and then to bring all your questions, right? To bring all your questions, all your doubts to the class, so we can clarify them, right? So thank you very much, Lester, and nice meeting you too. What about Rocio? Rocio, what can you share with the class about you, Rocio Vasquez? Can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you, Rocio. Hello, Hello, everyone. I hope that you're all okay. My name is Rocio, and I live in Quesaltepeque. 
I am very glad for you to stay here and got this opportunity because some months ago I was studying in academy, but you know, nowadays it's very expensive. I try to learn other language and I'm very glad really because I have this opportunity like with you. So I decided to study English because I would like to study in the university a bachelor degree. But you know, teacher, that it's important when you decide to study this degree, you need to know knowledge about the English. So it has been very difficult for me because I don't have a lot of knowledge and I couldn't pay the academy. You know, it's very expensive nowadays. So I am married. I am 23 years old and I like to I like to learn English, I listen to music, and I love to share with my family too. I love to know new people. To meet, to meet new people. And, and right now I have a lot of nervous, but I am very glad for you to stay here. You're nervous And I hope right to now. learn a lot here. Okay, so thank you very much, Rocio, for your for your kind yes. words. And actually, it's true. I think that this is very normally. No, of course, it's normal, right? Uh, we yes. all got nervous, right? Because actually, it was the first class, and I was worried about the time. You know, it was um, I had a delay. Of, of, well, it was a yes. five minute delay, yes. but don't worry, yes, but I am, Yes, but I am sure that we are here in order to improve together. Exactly. And when you have the opportunity to talk with someone else that have experience like you, teacher, and you know that in English, never you let to learn something new. And it's very important to try to practice every day. Um, and I am here available because you are in charge of, of my son during the week. So if someone want, want to practice with me, I am available all week. Okay, very good. So now you know that Rocio is available for you just in case if you want to practice with her, you can go ahead and reach her right through the through the group. So thank you very much Rocio for your availability. And yeah, actually it's something that she was sharing with the class is true. And uh, well, right now we have plenty of options where, uh, you know, we can study. Uh, we have lots of academies, but you know that this program, um, we already know we don't have to pay a penny for it, right? So all what you have to do is to register and you can go ahead and be part of a class, right? To improve your English. And the most important thing, as you were saying before, is to practice, right? The idea is to practice yes. and to improve what you already yes. know. Okay? Like I say, nowadays it's very difficult to learn and expensive too. And so I saw this opportunity in the Stop Channel Network, so I decided to take it. <laughs> Because, <laughs> yes, enough, cool. you know, teacher, it, it, and I am very happy for, for stay here, really. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Rocio. Now we'd like Thank to listen you. to, you're welcome, to Carla, Carla Hernandez. So what can you share with the class, Carla? Uh, well, my name is Carla Hernandez. I'm, I'm 33 years old. Uh, I'm married. I have two children. I live in Armenia, Cincinnati, but actually moved on to Santa Tecla. Um, I'm a businesswoman. I have a business with my husband, mm -hmm. and I love play video games, and I love learn English too. And also, I like to dance, and I love to cook. But um, I love to spend uh, time with my, my children and with my husband on okay. the weekend. Great, the multifaceted Carla, right? So very yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. It was it was wonderful. So I just type in the chat. Remember, we got actually uh, actually and currently, right? We got two words, but generally in Spanish we get confused, right? Actually yes. means the hecho. And then um, currently means actualmente, right? So currently, I think it was the, the word that Carla wanted to use. Thank you very much, Carla, for your information. Now, uh, what I would like to uh, what I would like to know is if we have more volunteers, because actually I don't want to to point, you know, like 
democráticamente, right? Is there someone else? Okay, Dani, Dani Sandoval, you can go ahead and, and, and share with the class. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is uh, Dani Sandoval. I'm 29 years old. I'm study fashion designer. I can speak French and a little bit of uh, English. And um, I am veterinarian assistant. And excellent. I, I don't know what more. No, excellent. Actually, thank you very much for that information. So very interesting. So you're studying for uh, becoming a fashion designer. You can speak French and you are, you can speak a little, a uh, little English and also you want to improve your English, right? So very interesting. Thank you, Danny, for joining. And okay, the class, thank you. you're very welcome. Now, let me listen to Mariana now. Mariana, what about you? What can you share with the class? Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, my name is Mariana. I am 22 years old. I am a psychology student. Um, and I love spend time with my family, with my friends, and with my dog. <laughs> um, I love sleep, cook, um, and see movies. What type of movies do you like? Um, romantic movies. Romantic movies. Do so you have like a favorite movie, like a favorite, favorite romantic movie? No. No, 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 um, not, a, not in a specific movie. Okay, very good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. What about Eric? Eric Acosta, what can you share with the class? Thank you, Mariana. What can you share with the class, Eric? Eric Acosta, are you there? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Eric Acosta. I'm an electrical engineer and 25 years. And I like to be here to learn more day a day. I like I live in Cuscatancingo. I like to listen music. I like to practice soccer. And I, I like to go out with my friends on weekends. Okay, very interesting, Eric. So I guess that you had a very hard time during quarantine, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, because actually you said that you like to um, hang out with your friends, right? To hang out with your friends. Very good. So thank you, Eric. What about Carlos Cabrera? What can you share with the class, Carlos? Hi, everybody. My Hi. name is Carlos. I am 39 years old. I live with my wife and my child. Uh, graphic design and uh, it's a great sharing uh, with with you. Um, it's a great opportunity for improve uh, the language, um, improve the skill for communication in English. Um, I love uh, cooking. I love the bicycling. Um, cycling, 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 and uh, um and gospel music, and um, only that. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos. I'm glad to hear that you love cooking, right? I hope that you cook for your wife from time to time. So I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Carlos, and nice to meet you. What about um, Monica? Monica, are you there? What can you share with the class? Um, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Monica Saldarsano. I'm 25 years old and I'm about to graduate from chemical engineering. I like to draw, read, and listen to music. And I want to improve my, my English because uh, I'm interested in continuing my, my, higher, my, my higher studies, my, my education, uh, if it's possible in another country. Okay, very interesting, Monica, and thank you very much for sharing your goal with us, and I really, really hope that you will be able to improve your English. So as you know, that can open doors, right? So um, you can go ahead and get 
um, many opportunities, right, um, when you speak a second language, especially English. So thank you very much. And I would like to have one more volunteer. You can raise your hand. Okay, raise your hand if you are interested in sharing with the class a little bit about you. Okay, uh, I just, I don't see your name. <laughs> Solo veo Galaxy A50, por eso quizás no, no veíamos su nombre, but go ahead. What's your name? Hay alguien que está levantando la manita. We cannot hear you. No la escuchamos. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, nice. My name is Kenia Acevedo. I am grateful with uh, uh, INSA for, for this course. Uh, it's the first time for me. And, uh, but uh, I am a big problem with uh, listening because the comprehension for me is a problem, but I can uh, improve this, this skill. Uh, I, I am married, I have uh, three children. I live in a San Vicente, a Pastepeque. I am a teacher, um, I pro since uh, 1998 and I love to teach and spend time with uh, with my children, my family, okay? And it's, I am happy. Very good, Kenya. And mm -hmm. can you tell me, um, okay, you said that you have been teaching since 1998, right? So that's a long time. What subjects do you teach? <laughs> What subject do you teach? Um, sorry? Subjects. What subjects do you teach? Uh, okay. Um, my specialty is uh, science. Right. But, um, yes, but I teach math. Um, Social studies. English, 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 physical education. Yes, but social study now. <laughs> Not language, <laughs> but that is, I like to teach. Excellent. Thank you very much for that information, Kenny. Nice to meet you and nice, nice meeting you all, guys. And um, since I have to continue with the contents, I'm going to stop here. But tomorrow you can, we can continue, you know, listening to you because actually I didn't hear uh, Kenya Kandra, I didn't hear Janita, Rene, etc. But tomorrow I will continue with, with you, okay? So I would like to share okay. some important information, right, about, about the curves. And um, well, the, the very first thing that we have to do is to check the sections, right, that we're going to be working with in the platform. Remember that the way it is going to be developed it will be like this. So uh, during week number one, which is this one, the one that we just started, during week number one, we're going to be working with sections one, two, and three in the platform. Sections one, two, and three in the platforms for, uh, for the first week. Then during week number two, we're going to be working with the mid midterm test or the midterm exam, or the exam in the middle course, right? So we're going to be working during the second week, um, trying to, you know, um, review and practice some of the topics that um, will be included in the midterm exam. And also we're going to use that week to clarify doubts um, regarding um, section number one, two, and three, okay? And then during week number three, we're going to be working in section number four, okay? Um, section number four is going to be developed during week number three, so we can uh, finish with uh, week number four with sections five and the final test or the exit test, right? As you already know, creo que solo Kenia me comentaba es, es nueva en el grupo, no sé si habrá alguien más, pero eh, como ustedes ya saben, um, you need to complete at least, right, 80% of the activities. Uh, in the platform so you can go ahead and get a diploma or certificates. If you don't complete the 80% um, of the material in the platform, uh, you might not get, you know, your diploma or certificate. So, um, teacher, me puedo adelantar? Yes, you can go ahead and 
uh, work in different sections, right? Trabajelo a su ritmo, ¿verdad? Como usted se sienta más cómodo, si usted siente que le que pues eh, se adelantó, not a problem. You can go ahead and bring your questions to the class and um, we're going to be clarifying your doubts, okay? So that's going to be about uh, the sections that uh, we're going to be working on. Then the dates. Remember, classes are from Monday through Thursday, right? Monday, Monday through Thursday. And then um, also uh, we're going to be um, starting you know this module today october the 12th and we're going to be finishing on friday the 6th friday october 6th because um on monday the second we have a holiday right eh, pues no se trabaja ese día así que we're going to be finishing on friday october 6th okay that's for you to know we're going to be fin when we're going to be finishing eh, para que no haya confusión con las fechas que a veces aparecen en la plataforma que son para efectos de administración, ¿verdad? So, please, uh, if you have any question, let me know. Now, um, let me go ahead and ask you, because um, I don't know how many of you, I don't know how many uh, of you have already checked the platform. ¿Ya se metieron a la plataforma? ¿Ya vieron cuáles son los temas que vamos a estar revisando? Do you do it? Okay, yes. I can see that some of you are nodding, some teacher. Okay, some of you are nodding, and that means that some of you have already checked it. Now, um, I would like to start with um, sharing some information, right? And let me go ahead and prefer here the screen. Since it is the first day, I just wanted to, to, to listen to you. I just wanted to, to know a little bit about you, right? So let me go ahead and share my screen. Ahí está. Okay, give me one moment. It's going to be this one. And there you go. Okay, so this is English Intermedio Modulo 1, right? This is session number one. And my name is Teacher Marcela. And the, the unit that, or the name of the lesson is A Time to Remember. We're going to be, um, talking a little bit about simple past, right? If you ask me, I would say that simple past is one of the easiest tenses in English because all what you have to do is to know the rules, you know, when it comes to irregular verbs, know the rules when um, you are going to be able to add ed or ied or just d to the verb, right? To get the, regu the, re the regular form uh, of the verb in simple past. And then if it is an irregular verb, all what you have to do is to learn it by heart, right? Oh, that's all what you have to do, se lo memoriza. And I know that it's difficult and it sounds like, oh, I teacher, do I, I have to memorize, I have to learn them by heart, but it's kind of difficult. Yes, it's kind of difficult, but it is kind of difficult, I'm sorry, but you can go ahead and do it. And then the name of the lesson, A Time to Remember, means that we're going to talk a little bit about memories and we're going to be doing that probably during the, during the week, right? So let me go ahead and... This is going to be the first section, right? The first section in the, um, in the platform. And the lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was and were and various irregular and regular and irregular verbs. Okay. So in the first section, you will be able to go ahead and see how the um, simple passive verb to be is used. Right. We're going to um, talk a little bit about that in just uh, in just a moment, okay? So there you have some example, uh, examples. I'm sorry, I was born in Korea or I grew up in the United States or I moved here 10 years ago or I didn't speak English. Now, the easiest way for you to go ahead and um, master, you know, simple pass is to remember the structure, right? Because actually it is like math. You need a formula, right? But this formula is a lot easier, right? And all that you have to remember are the elements that you need, right? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the past simple of verb to be. Okay, probably you already know how to use it, right? 
And you know that bird to be has a very, a very special characteristic. Bird to be is the independent guide, right? It's totally independent. Es independiente. Él puede convertirse en positivo, en negativo y en pregunta. He doesn't need any, it doesn't need, I would say, it doesn't need any help. Um, on the other hand, we have other verbs. You know, for other verbs, we do need some help. Like, for example, didn't for negative sentences or did for questions. But when it comes to the simple past of verb to be, it doesn't need help, right? El puede solito, es independiente, right? So all what we have to do is to um, use it in the right uh, form, right? If it is uh, in the affirmative way or if it is in the negative way. So we already know that for me to be able to make up uh, affirmative sentences, all what I have to do is to get my subjects, right? Then I need my bird to be in past. It could be was and were, and then my complement, right? For example, I can say, I was in my parents' house yesterday. I was in my parents' house yesterday. Or you were busy in the morning. You were busy in the morning, right? So those are the elements that I need for my uh, positive sentences. But what about the negative sentences? When it comes to negative sentences, I need always, you know, my subject. Then I need to have a verb to be, but in simple, I mean, but in past. And then I need my complement. Now you already know that wasn't is the contraction of was not. You can go ahead and use the full form or you can use the contraction, that's not a problem. You can say, um, I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with the result, right? I wasn't satisfied with the result. Let's say for instance, that you had a test in the morning and you said, mm, no, I wasn't satisfied with the results. I think I should have studied more. And then you can say, I was not satisfied. So it's up to you if you want to use the full form or if you want to use the contraction, right? Teacher, which is the most common way to use it in speaking English? In speaking English, probably contractions. And then when you are writing, right? So you can go ahead and use the full forms. But I mean, there's, there's not a rule, right? That says that you have to use the full form in, a, in, in, in the written form and the contractions in the speaking form. No, that's not a rule. You can go ahead and use both. I can go ahead and say, you weren't in the class yesterday. You weren't in the class yesterday, right? When it comes to questions, we got a switch, right? There is a switch and then the subject goes Move say position, right? It goes to uh, the second section, the second position, and then the bird to becomes to the first position. So there you got was or where, your subject, the complement, and the question mark. Question marks are very important, guys, especially in written English. Remember that if you not don't add your question marks, um, it, that would look like a like an affirmative statement, right? When it is not, all what you have to do is to add your question mark, right? And also, teacher, but what happens if I want to ask a open question, right? Oh, if you want to use WH words like where, what, when, etc., they go at the beginning, van al principio, y luego toda la fórmula, todas las secciones van tal cual, okay? Now, I can say, um, for example, uh, let's see, give me one moment. Okay, let's see, Kenya, Kenya Kandrai, are you there, Kenya? Yes, okay, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, so I can, I can come and I can ask, Kenya, um, where were you yesterday in the morning? Where were you yesterday in the morning? Mm -hmm. I, okay. I was in, in my house. Excellent. I was in my house, right? 
but I can also ask, thank you, uh, Kenya. I can also ask, let's see, Brian. I can say, Brian, um, were you tired yesterday? Were you tired yesterday? No, I wasn't tired yesterday. Very good. Now, when it comes to question, guy, questions, guys, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and ask open and yes, no questions, right? So yes, no questions are like the one I just asked to Brian. Were you tired yesterday? And he said, no, I wasn't, right? So when I ask a yes, no question, that's all what you're going to get, a yes as an answer or a no as an answer, right? But when you ask information questions, right? Que nosotros llamamos preguntas abiertas o preguntas cerradas, decimos en español. But in English, they are called information questions. When you ask information questions, then that means that you are not going to get a yes or a no. You're going to get a piece, a, well, a specific piece of information. For example, I asked Kenya, where were you? yesterday in the morning where were you yesterday in the morning and she said i was in my house right so i didn't get a yes or a no i got the um the information i was looking for i wanted to know the place and she said in my house okay so that's a little bit about um the uh, simple the past simple of bird um b right and oops and then I'm going to continue with simple past. But before I do that, I would like to have some practice with you because actually that's going to be for um, this section. Let me see if I'm not mistaken. No, here. This is section 1.1 .1 in the platform, which is the past tense, okay? So what I'm going to do is the following, okay? What I want you to do is to um, move you to the breakout room, okay? In the breakout room, what I want you to do is just to exchange, right? I want you to go ahead and ask your classmates about um, where they were yesterday, or you can go ahead and make up sentences, right? But the idea is for you to practice the past simple of verb to be, okay? Um, let me go ahead and prepare. Let me go ahead and prepare the breakout rooms, okay? But so far, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Questions? Mm -hmm. No questions? No, no. Teacher, I don't Very have. good. Okay, excellent. Probably you already know this information, but remember the idea is to go ahead and just practice and just um, try, try to get some something that probably you didn't know before and now it's clarified but let's go ahead and move to the breakout rooms uh let's see hmm. i'm going to send you in groups of four probably well two or three students i'm going to do it like this very good um i'm going to create a room so you already know how it works okay um just let me check something very quickly. Hmm. Just let me set the time. Um, two minutes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes for you to have some interactions with your classmates. Well, you know what, let's do it four minutes because I can hear that you speak a lot. So let's go ahead and get a four minutes um, breakout room. I'm going to send in, I'm going to send you right now. Okay, very good. So we got a breakout room here. So guys, what I want you to do is just to interact with your classmates, Carlos, Luis, Omar, Giselle. Okay, all what you have to do is to practice. Uh, well, in this case, Luis, are you there? Luis? 
Hello. Well, Blanca, please stay with me, stay here, okay? And I'll be right back so I can go ahead and practice with you, okay? I'll be right back, Blanca. Hello, how are you doing guys? Hey. Are you practicing? Are you practicing? We have to make some questions to the other persons in the room. Oh, well, you can ask questions or you can go ahead and, and, and talk a little bit about you. You know what? I was tired yesterday. I was in my house. You can ask your classmates, where were you yesterday in the morning or where were you in the afternoon? Okay, how do you feel? Okay, ah, oh, I was sad or I was, I was happy because I, I saw my family, etc. right? So the idea is for you to use the simple past of verb to be, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, um, Ada, <laughs> yeah. you can listen to me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where was your brown, Eric? I was born in Salvador, but in San Salvador City, specific. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what about you, Lester? Okay, I. I uh, was born on because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so I I saw this opportunity and I decided to take it. But uh, tell me, uh, Brian, what do you write about this program? Program, sorry. I like the the thing that you can interact with other people and improve your skills more about okay is great it's great the meeting. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm very well. It's a, a, great, a, a great class. Oh, really? You, I'm glad you, to hear that. You, you speaking English uh, uh, every time, all time, is very good for listening. Yes, exactly. Uh, that is correct. At the beginning, you know, a, a, you know, we have to get used to it, right? Because, um, whenever we start learning a language the, the best that we can do is to start listening to people you know speaking the language right so you can go ahead and um also practice with someone you know or just you know watch um tv in english etc right so the idea is to um, polish your listening skills right very Still, good uh, connecting okay teacher thank you you're very welcome okay Okay, very good. Eric, how are you there? I can see that most of you are here, but not all of you, right? No todos se quedaron, así que, oh, but that's, that's okay, not a problem. It's, it seems that some of you probably had to do something else, but that's not a problem. So I was listening to some of you 
Uh, some of you were asking some of the questions that we're about to discuss, like uh, where were you born, right, et cetera, which is a uh, part of the section number one in the platform. So we talked a little bit about where to be, right, in simple past, and I would like to listen to a volunteer, okay, so that you can go ahead and share with the class you know, uh, information using verb to be in past, because actually you were asking to your classmates about, um, you know, things from, um, or events from yesterday, right? So I would like to listen to a volunteer, okay? You can go ahead and provide us information that some of your classmates shared with you, but using simple past of verb to be. Volunteer, no volunteer? Okay, so let's see. I am here. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Something um, that you would like to share? Mariana. Okay. Mariana. Oh. Hello, Mariana. Hi, Rocio. How are you? Fine, thank you. What did you do yesterday? I was in my home. <laughs> yes, that? Yes. Yay, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. We are in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, that's my right. family. Yet? My family. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, my family. family. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, girls. And yeah, actually, we're about to move to um, the past simple, right? But this time uh, with all the verbs, right? And as you could hear, they, they gave us, you know, a example of each, well, an example, I'm sorry, an example of each of the tenses, which is past simple of to be and also past simple with other verbs. I'm going to start sharing again the screen with you. Let's see. It's gonna be the presentation. And as we were, you know, um, studying the previous chart, this is similar, but it's about past simple with other verbs. As I was sharing with you before, we know that um, verb to be is very independent. He can go ahead and, um, you know, be affirmative, negative, or it, you can go ahead and um, use it uh, to make up questions, right? Without the need or, of having an auxiliary. So with the past simple, it's similar too, because actually you have, you know, the, the, the same order of the elements. You got your subject, you got your verb in past, and also your complement. Now, when it comes to verbs in past with, um, with um, with regular verbs, you already know that all what you have to do is to um, know the rules. And we're going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow. Know the rules for you to um, go ahead and convert, right, that verb to the simple past form. And then you need your complement. Like, for example, I prepared, I prepared my class yesterday. I prepared my class yesterday. Or I can say a sentence with, uh, with an irregular verb. I went to the supermarket yesterday. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Now, going to the supermarket has become a headache, at least in my house, because actually, uh, you know, we have to go to the supermarket. We have to be very careful. We have to bring the items, right? We have to put them on the table. We have to clean them one by one, just to make sure that, you know, everything is cleaned and um, free from the corona virus, right? So it's kind of complicated. So then we got the negative form. In the negative form, we need some help, right? And that's when we need auxiliaries, right? So in this case, we need an auxiliary. It is didn't, right? We got the subject, we got the auxiliary didn't. We got the verb. The BF is not for best friend, but that no is for best friend is because of the base form, right? Base form meaning not conjugated, right? So that's the base form of the verb and the complement, right? So we got the subject, my auxiliary, and my complement. Examples, well, I didn't. I didn't do the laundry yesterday. I'm guilty. I didn't. 
do the laundry yesterday because actually there was no water service and unfortunately I, I didn't or I couldn't, right? In this case, I couldn't do the laundry yesterday. So then you got the question form. Now with the question form, we got the same switch. You know, the subject moves to the second position and then the auxiliary comes to the first position, right? So you got your auxiliary deed, your subject, your verb, which is in base form, your complement and your question mark, right? So after that, you can go ahead and um, if you need to ask a inform, I mean, an information question, you can go ahead and put at the beginning the WH words like where, what, when, why, okay, etc. Right. So I can go ahead and say, um, <laughs> let's see, Eric. Eric, did you take a shower yesterday, Eric? Did you take a shower yesterday? Yes, I did. <sighs> okay. I will believe you, okay, you did, okay? So uh, in this case, Eric took a shower yesterday. Um, what about, let's see, Monica, Monica, Monica. Did you cook lunch yesterday? Did you cook lunch yesterday? No, I don't feel like cook. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good, thank you. Now, those are, Yes, no questions, right? So I'm using my auxiliary and they are providing me a yes or a no as an answer. So what about information questions? I can go ahead and ask, let's see, Carlos Cabrera. Carlos Cabrera, where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Carlos Cabrera, are you there? Uh, I go to the church. I went. I went to the church. I went to the church, okay, thank you very much. So as you could hear, Carlos is not providing me a yes or no as an answer. He is providing me that piece of information that I needed, right? I needed to know the place, where. Where do you go? And he said, I went to the church, right? So this is something very important. And that's why I think um, Simple Past is a lot easier than what we think, right? Because, um, you use the verb in the past form, but only in affirmative sentences, right? We don't use it in the past form when we have um, the auxiliary, right? When we're using the auxiliary, we know that we're not going to use the past form of the verb. We're going to use the base form. Only in affirmative sentences is when we use the, um, the past tense of that verb, right? So in the platform, you have a knowledge check, okay? You have some knowledge check, meaning that you have to complete an exercise, right? So I have here this section, so you can go ahead and um, let me know some examples, right? Some examples of um, sentences with, um, you know, simple past. Just let me go ahead and go at the section that I need. Text. Okay, very good. So, can you go ahead and give me examples, please, of simple past using the um, auxiliaries in negative form, or if it is a question? Okay, let's go ahead and make up. Porque todavía tenemos cinco minutos, right? Let's go ahead and make up a questioner. Okay, ¿qué le preguntaríamos? What would, what would, what would you ask? Okay, to someone in order to practice a little bit of simple past questions. What questions? Can you go ahead and share with me? Let's see, Brian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me one question. No? Did you make salad yesterday? Okay, did you make salad yesterday? Actually, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I prepared some salad yesterday. Well, yeah, it was a salad, I remember. Thank you very much. Another volunteer? Volunteer? Uh, other sentences uh, uh, will be maybe, did you work yesterday? Oh, okay, did you work yesterday? Did you work yesterday? Actually, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm going to 
those questions are for me, right? So actually, no, I didn't. I didn't work yesterday. Okay, very good. Who else? Next volunteer. Volunteer, ask questions in simple past. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Thank you. When, uh, when do you begin to work? Oh, can you repeat your question one more time? When? When? Sorry. I'm... When do you begin to work? Oh, when do you start? Working. When do you start working? As a teacher, you mean? Working as a teacher? By yes. this? Okay. Yes. When do you start working as a teacher? Well, actually, I started working as a teacher back in 2012. Back in 2012. Thank you. What about the next example or the next question? How was your week? How? Okay, very good. That's going to be with uh, simple past, I mean, simple past verb to be, right? Okay, how was your week? How was your week? Actually, my week, well, last week. Creo que alguien tiene activado el micrófono. Be careful with the microphone. Yes. Uh, when did you finish the high school? When did you finish high, sc high school? When did you finish high school? Very good. So actually, uh, what my week? How was my week? My week was, um, I would say, kind of quiet. Right? Actually, I didn't have that much to do uh, last week. But it was nice. And when did you finish high school? Actually, I finished high school back in 2004. I graduated in 2004 and it was cool. Actually, estaba en los vocacionales todavía. Y fue una opción contador, so it was, it was pretty cool. So actually, that's gonna be, um, well, no, just give me one more question, one more question. Mm -hmm. One more question. Why did you decide to study English? Okay. Why? Wait, sorry. Why did you decide to study English? Actually, the reason why I study, I decided, I'm sorry, that I was going to study English was because, um, as Rocio was sharing with you before, uh, I have, I had always wanted, I had always wanted to study English because my father used to play music in English when I was a child. And I really wanted to understand, you know, the lyrics and it sounded kind of cool, you know, to learn a second language and English, you know, it was, it was nice. Um, but then, unfortunately, my parents weren't able to pay, you know, uh, for an English academy. So I had to wait until I uh, got, until I finished, I'm sorry, high school and I was able to study at the university. I decided that I wanted to become an English teacher because English uh, language was one of the things that I wanted to learn when I was, you know, little. And because I wanted to share knowledge with other people right so that's the reason why I decided to study English and um, I'm glad I did because actually it had opened doors for me so guys I'm going to stop here because it's already time but it has been a pleasure and thank you very much for staying with me and hopefully tomorrow we're going to be able to start on time nice meeting you all and I don't know if you have any question any comment before we leave anything Maybe we can share in the group uh, some questions. Excellent. Very in good. Us. I'm glad to hear that. You can go ahead and use the chat also to practice. Remember, you can reach me through chat or you can reach me through my personal email. So uh, if you have any question, let me know. So thank you very much for joining. And uh, let's meet tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you. And rest. Good night, teacher. It has been a pleasure. 
Bye bye. bye. Same bye. here. Likewise. Good bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, guys. See you.